helps you reduce inflammation, and 65% of your brain is fat. The idea that we don't eat fat puzzles me, to be honest, but there you go, that's another talk. <laughs> the breast tissue holds more iodine than any part of the body except for the thyroid. If you have a thyroid problem, the thyroid will demand any iodine and will grow what's called a goiter. That means your breast tissue is low on iodine. The book that I want to hold up for you is written by a Canadian doctor. His name is Dr. David Derry. In this are 126 different references from medical journals around the world on the essential nature of iodine. In northern Japan, until very recently, there was almost no breast cancer at all. None. Same with prostate. The stats are changing. Um, they are beginning to get some increase in their breast cancer. Nothing like the UK, Spain, Italy, North America. So what's the difference? They eat, they consume daily over 300 times what we consider to be the daily allowance of iodine. They eat seed and they eat fish. We eat 20 a day, 50 milligrams of tablet, and you collect your urine for the next 24 hours. If your body's got enough iodine, you will excrete 95% of it. Many psychological problems are related directly to iodine. And in the mental hospitals in the early 1800s were people who were low in iodine. So, all kinds of things, again, I, I do a whole talk just on iodine, so I am jumping around a little bit. My daughter handed out some pamphlets, and this is really, really important. Ladies, you are a balance of estrogen and progesterone. That's what makes you who you are. Estrogen is known as the angel of mercy and the angel of death. If in fact you have the wrong kind of estrogen, then you are in danger. The estrogen you have in your body is broken down into two metabolites, one which will prevent cancer and one which will enhance the cancer. What this pamphlet says is that in just as little as six weeks, if you focused on a diet of kale and Brussels sprouts, is not a garbage. Um, you can reverse that ratio. In fact, you don't really need to have a go and have it measured. You can, and it's not expensive. But if you're one of the people of a high 16 estrogen rather than the 2 estrogen, which is the pamphlet, simply by getting